Aerial footage is quickly becoming more and more accessible with the cost of new drones dropping almost daily. This results in a lot of aerial footage being posted online. However, there is still an aspect of aerial footage that's often ignored, and that is post-production. With the right post-production techniques applied to your aerial footage, you can take your shots from good to great. Hi, my name is Charles Jaeger for Tuts Plus, and throughout this course you're going to learn key post-production techniques that you can apply to your aerial footage. These techniques will not only help give your footage a more cinematic appearance, but they'll help your footage stand out from the surplus of aerial footage that's posted online. In this course, you're going to learn a wide range of topics, everything from proper camera settings and how to reduce gel effects on your aerial footage, to slow motion effects and color grading, and even how to do some basic 3D tracking on your footage. Throughout this course, I'm going to be doing my post-production work in After Effects. However, if you only have Premiere Pro or another editing program, you will still see benefits from the insights covered throughout this course. Also, anyone who takes this course is going to have access to some great project files that are going to help you follow along. The project files include aerial clips, PDF guide sheets, custom color grading LUTs, and more. Make sure you check out the next lesson where you're going to learn the best settings for your aerial camera and how to avoid common problems with aerial footage.